Hey guys, Matt here, and today we're going to be unlocking this AT&T iPhone 4S. Now the method we're going to use to unlock this AT&T iPhone 4S is the same way to unlock any AT&T iPhone. Because it uses the process known as a carrier unlock, so you unlock it through the AT&T website. So first let me go ahead and show you that it does indeed, it is indeed locked. Here I'm going to put in a T-Mobile SIM card into the slot and it's going to give me an error in a second saying that it's not valid. See it's restarting, doesn't know what to do. See let's slide, it says update complete. It's going to try and activate, but it's not going to work. See, it says SIM not valid. So let's go ahead and eject this SIM. Through the regular side slot. You can either use a SIM ejection tool or just make something from a paperclip. So let's go ahead and unlock this phone. So first what we're going to have to do is go over to the computer and go into iTunes. Now this process works on Mac and PC. It doesn't matter what platform you're on. You just have to go into iTunes, go to the iPhone, update it later do back up now and make sure it says this computer and you can either back up apps or don't back them up but I'm just gonna back up just the phone itself so it backs up pictures and everything that it is important okay so now that the phone is backed up let's go ahead and get started so in the description I have a link to the AT&T website where you do the device unlock. So you'd click on the link. It would open up in your web browser. And it would bring you to this web page. So I'm going to go ahead and go through the information on this website. And so this is the consumer device unlock portal. This is where you can unlock your AT&T phone. As you can see, it says request to unlock AT&T wireless phone or tablet. So the general requirements are this device must be designed for use on and locked to the AT&T wireless network. It must not be reported stolen, lost or stolen, so it can't have a blacklisted IMEI. And it's not associated with fraudulent activity all the devices, services, commitments, and installment plans are completed, and all early termination fees are paid in full. The device is not currently active on different AT&T customers' account. If you perform performed an early upgrade, you must wait the 14-day buyer's remorse period before you can request to unlock your previous device. So what that basically means is the phone has to be paid off and not on any contracts or installment plans. And if you are a postpaid customer, you must have it activated for at least 60 days. If you have a prepaid Go phone, must be active for at least six months. Non AT&T mobility customers, um, basically, if even if you're not an AT&T customer, you can still unlock a phone. All you have to do is just meet the general requirements, which is what we're going to do in this video. So. After we read all that, just hit I have read and agreed to the eligibility requirements to unlock my device. Hit continue. And then here we're going to click non AT&T mobility customer. We're going to enter the IMEI. So if we click on this question mark right here, you can see the IMEI is if we go ahead and dial go into the phone and go ahead and dial star hashtag or pound whatever you want to call it 
zero six hashtag and if you call it it shows your IMEI obviously I'm gonna blur this out because this is very sensitive well not very sensitive but it is pretty important number on your phone so next let's go ahead and type in the number now as you can see it automatically detects what phone it is and what model number it is go ahead and type in our first name our last name and then an email address of our choice um, and then we type in the security code and hit submit and then it'll say thank you your question number is I'm gonna blur that out and you will receive an email confirmation shortly and you click on it so let's go ahead and open my email okay let's go ahead and go here's the email we click here to confirm the request it'll open in a new page and it says thank you for your confirmation your unlock request is on review please allow two business days to process it we'll send you an email message soon with the status request or you can check yourself on the device unlock status portal so let's go ahead and go to that type in our IMEI next we want to type in our request code and this is found on our confirmation page or on the email okay so now let's hit submit and see what the status is and it says congratulations here are your unlock instructions and but I will warn you now, this will wipe everything on your phone. So make sure it's all backed up so that way later you can just hit restore and it'll restore. Since your device status is now complete, what you want to do is go into iTunes. And you have to have internet connectivity so that way they can automatically detect your phone and send you the correct software that is unlocked. So click on your iPhone, the one that is completed. But before you go ahead and hit restore on your computer, you have to make sure you put in an AT&T SIM card or else it will not unlock your phone. So let's go ahead and plug it in and hit restore. And back up your phone, make sure it is backed up. And now you want to restore iPhone. But first, before you restore the iPhone, you have to make sure turn my iPhone is off turn find my iPhone is off on the phone so let's go on the phone go into settings go into iCloud go into find my iPhone and turn it off and enter your password be right back okay once you put in your password just hit turn off and it'll say turning off find my iPhone then you can exit out and go back to the computer okay so now we can finally hit restore iPhone we already backed it up so you don't have to hit back up and you want to hit restore and update hit continue and you have to let it extract the new software for your phone and this software is the one that unlocks and gets rid of all the locked software that was on your device before
and now it says congratulations your iPhone has been unlocked so now let's go ahead and hit continue and we can hit to restore from this backup hit continue and your phone should be back to the way it was and unlocked so after this is completed we'll put in the t-mobile sim card and see if it works Okay guys, so there's about five seconds left. So on the backup. Okay, so the settings on the phone have been restored. So let's go ahead and let the phone restart and see how our unlocked phone works. Okay, so now the loading bar has stopped and the phone is going to boot. And it is back to happen before we unlocked it. Let it load up. Okay, so now let's eject the AT&T SIM card. Like so. Here's the AT&T. Let's pop that out. Oh, where did the T-Mobile? Let's take in the SIM card. Put it in the phone. Oh, yep, it says T-Mobile. That does say T-Mobile, so our phone is indeed unlocked. So we have successfully unlocked an AT&T iPhone 4S. And this method does work on any iPhone. You just have to have an AT&T SIM card. It doesn't have to be the original. It just has to be an AT&T SIM card. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Hope this video helped you. If it did, please leave a like. If you have any suggestions or comments, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Thank you for watching.